I got my snake stand on. I'm ready. I'm snaking. <laughs> this is, I feel like a cobra today. I'm excited. Girl, what are we gonna do? We gonna move like a snake? We gonna twerk like a snake? We gonna whine like a snake? Uh, uh, what could this be? Like, oh, 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 bitches and snakes. But either way, I'm prepared. Let's get into the gig. Hey, yo, what the fuck is T, my lovely people? Yes, we are back up in this gig. And well, I said Megan is back with bongos, but I think I can officially say now, Megan is back. I promise you, I really thought that we would not give anything after bongos. I thought we wouldn't see anything from Megan until next year. And I wouldn't have blamed her, no shade. Like, girl, I'll catch y'all when I catch y'all, girl. Y'all have that, y'all have bongos. We bong, 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 bong. This is act one, and it's Cobra. We don't have nothing, it's not preluding to anything. It's just a single. But I know what's making this single way different than any other single in the past is that Megan is finally a free agent. Megan is actually technically independent, girl. Oh, yeah. So this buzz of what's going on with Megan right now is completely organic and completely just through her and her fans and the hotties. The fact that this project, this song, and this music video is all self-produced from her pocket, girl. No investors, no label. Now, let's, get, let's be real here, okay? Megan's independent artist looks way different than another bitch being independent, okay? Because Megan made millions. I'm sure during her run with a label and through brand deals and endorsements and stuff like that. However, comma, that still does not take away the fact that she is paying for this out of her own coin. So we need to give Megan some tens off of that alone, okay? So I wanna just hop right into the gig. I wanna see what Cobra is about. It looks sexy, it looks Amazon. And I know that Megan plays around with like horror and you know, very gruesome s creepy things. And I live for that. So I kinda wanna see what she give it, you know? If you don't know me and never seen my face before, hello. My name is Zach Campbell. Nice to meet you. If you're new around here, well, come on in. Grab a plate. I promise you we got it catered. I didn't cook today, girl. I'm sorry. And if you're returning, you know what kind of catered plate we do, girl. You know, you know, usually I cook, bitch. But today I just decided I didn't feel like it. So it's catered. So go on and grab you a plate and help the people that's new. Get them a plate. Show them where the silverware at, girl. Now, just like Megan, honey, I have bills to pay, too. And unfortunately, I cannot play all of her things on here because of due to copyright. So if you want to watch this video completely raw and uncut and <laughs> completely different, I promise you, you're going to have a wonderful time over at the Tired Ass Patreon family. First link in the description below. Come on and join, and we get exclusive videos over there, goo. Yes. Let's see if Megan Thee Stallion's Cobra is a pop. <laughs> or, I doubt she gonna come back with a flop, though. I don't see her coming back with a flop, but it could flop. To the left, to the left. Let's get into this gig, Yana, and find out. And she's number one on trending. Okay, we love to see it. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> Megan, oh, this about to give me ass shaking. She about to talk about ass shaking. She about to give me, is this pussy popping? What's happening? I don't know. But either way, this shot alone of her coming out this from the back like this, I, I, Ooh, if you fumbled Megan Thee Stallion as a partner, I'm so sorry. You look stupid. If I was waking up to that, I would... Qu Girl, I'm questioning. I'm questioning. Well, you know, sexuality is a spectrum, you know, so. Ooh, faces get... <gasps> Wait a minute. I know this reference. I know this reference. This reference. This is given... This is an anime. I can't think about it. It was... It starts with an O, Oshira, Oyama. I don't want to. I don't want to butcher nobody's name, girl. I'm so sorry. Okay. This scene is from an anime, and I can't think about it exactly. But let me know in the comments below if I'm on the right track. This gives me very much. It was a villain in an anime situation when they got out the snake, bitch. Ow! Oh yes, the girls watch anime. Damn. All right. If you watch in Castlevania, let me know, bitch. I love you. What? Okay. 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 Work, Miss Bitch. This is artistry. This is artistry, and you can say what you want about Miss Girl. You ain't gotta like her, you don't gotta live. But bitch, this bitch is sitting up here really embodying and showing the world how it felt to be on display, having to grow and shed and become a new person in front of everybody while everybody spectates. And the green light on her, you know, green like symbolizes growth and money. And she's like, bitch, I'm trying to do all those things, but I have to do it in front of everybody while y'all just spectate and watch and have an opinion. This, this hits this hits me a different type of way. Wait, 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 w
I, what are these lyrics? Bitch, wait a minute. I can't even focus on the visual. The lyrics, the lyrics is crazy. You miss your parents, hit rock bottom. Who cheated on you? You said you caught somebody cheating and walked in with the same, where you're getting the dick suck at the same place you're sleeping. Partisan Fontaine, you all right? That has to be who she's talking about. I don't know who else you're talking about. Ooh, speaking on me on my lowest act like you didn't know it. Bitch, you knew. Ooh, bitch, is something coming? An album? Something? Ha something's happening. I am over here completely lost for words because that was a bop, number one. Completely. completely. This video definitely put in a perspective of how she was, what she was going through these past few years and specifically the Tory situation. I want to just apologize again, even just more loudly, more publicly, because my asinine comments were loud in public. And this video, this video hits me harder because you did the most beautiful job of putting a description of what you were going through in a music video form, in an artistic form that I can feel that made me just want to say, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm beyond sorry, actually. Trying to dumb down, water down your experience to make it digestible for entertainment, to make it funny, to make it a laughing situation. And that's why it hurt so many people that was mad at me about that, but also you. Because I'm spectating, talking, and I'm not helping. I speak about black women, I speak about loving black women. My job as a black man is to do, is to listen. And I apologize to all black women out there that felt like in that moment when I made stupid comments about her situation, trying to make it funny, make it a joke, or not even believe what she said. I apologize if you were hurt by that. She's made vulnerable songs like this before. This is not the first time. If you listen to uh, Bad Bitches Have Bad Days 2 off of Trauma Zine, this is very much that. Um, but a little more raw, if, if you can, and I didn't think you can get even more raw than that. You've taught me so much from that situation that black women just need protection, and that's it. That's it. When, we, when we're saying this is what happened and people try to, well, did this really? We need to stop doing that to our black women. We really need to stop doing that. Beautiful job, Megan. Beautiful job. I hope that you continue to evolve and become a beautiful entertainer. 10 out of 10. That visual was crazy. The lyrics, insane. The production, risky. Sounded fresh. I love it. I give it a complete bop. No, it's not the most comeback single, you know, high fee hit on the charts, but it's not meant for that. We finally get a piece of what she really went through and she did it in the best way she could, which is through music. A legit reflection on myself and the people that she was talking about, AKA me aiding to the conversation of the scrutiny. All right, Tired Ass Army, this was a little heavy one for me. This was heavier than I thought it was going to be. Um, didn't know we were going to go here, but I live. Please let me know in the comments below if you guys live for this song and, and give it a bop like me. Live for this visual. This visual is probably one of the best visuals she's done. And that's no, because uh, sweet, Sweetest Pie was sickening, bitch. But this, whoo, it's probably some things I missed, girl, but the lyrics had me God smacked. All right, Tata's Army. I love you, bitch, for watching, as always. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye, Army. Wow, that was fucking crazy. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I really just, like, I don't know. I just, that had me, that, yeah. Whoa.